What's going on YouTube? This is Argon here again today. I watched a video today from a fellow YouTuber by the name of Naughty Locks Gaming, and he made a video about uh, the fact that he thinks that Infinite Warfare is better than Black Ops 3. I saw this on his Instagram, and I commented on it. I said, disagree with you, man, but I think Black Ops 3 was quite a bit better than Infinite Warfare. And uh, since he made his video, I think I'll make a response video telling him exactly why I think Black Ops 3 is better than Infinite Warfare. And you guys as well. See you on the other side. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the differences between Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare and why I think that Black Ops 3 is better than Infinite Warfare. Uh, it pretty much just summarizes to the fact that Infinite Warfare is just an overall copycat of Black Ops 3 and, and not a very good one too. So let's go ahead and start with the maps, right? What ship with Black Ops 3? We got Aquarium, Breach, Combine, Evac, Exodus, Fringe, Havoc, Hunted, Infection, Metro, Redwood, Stronghold, and Nuketown as a bonus map. So, what shipped with Infinite Warfare at the original ship launch date, or whatever you want to call it? We have Breakout, Crusher, Frontier, Frost, Genesis, Grounded, Mayday, Precinct, Retaliation, Scorch, Skydock, Throwback, and Terminal. So I pretty much just went through this list of each game, and I said, you know, which maps do I think were good, and which ones... We're not, and I won't go into details as to why one's good versus one is not, but it comes down to nine maps for uh, Black Ops 3 versus seven maps for Infinite Warfare. So Black Ops 3 had, at launch, two better, two, two more superior maps than Infinite Warfare had. So for that, in the maps category, uh, Black Ops 3 does edge out Infinite Warfare, so that's one category. I should have started this video by saying that I I wanted to go through I'm dead I'm dead I wanted to go through and rank these two games on several categories and those categories are as follows maps guns kill streaks specialists game modes and movement I ran out of hands moving forward into the specialist category I'm sorry into guns and weapon balancing in general I 100% give this to Black Ops 3. The uh, reason for that is they just had more balanced weapons. Um, way more balanced weapons. So you, you can use a lot of different guns in Black Ops 3 and be successful. So again, when this game launched, it was pretty much all NV4s and K-Bars. And that's it. The snipers were good, but not much else. The LMGs, in my opinion, are way too overpowered. Uh, you should not be able to run and gun with an LMG like you can in this game. Um, so that is bad for weapon balancing, for sure. And then, of course, in Infinite Warfare, you can craft variants. But it is what it is. I, just to kind of... You could do Gunsmith in Black Ops 3, although I don't know many people that did do that. But where Black Ops 3 was way better was you could do custom camos. And that that's pretty much... That's really cool. Wow, what were you doing? Uh... What are these guys doing? Anyway, Black Ops 3 wins in the gun category as well. Moving right along into the specialist category, uh, that definitely I'm going to give this one to... Come on, challenge me. Oh, wow. I'm definitely giving this one to Black Ops 3 because they started the specialist concept. And in my opinion, Infinity War just basically copied them. And that's just not cool. Like, if you look at, compare the specialists in this game... To Black Ops 3, there's just way too much similarities. And if you're the second person to do that, then you're the copier. Uh, on top of that, the actual abilities and weapons and all that stuff in in this game, is it's way more of a reactive situation than it is a tactical one. Uh, it's like, how can I say this? It's kind of like somebody pops it like when they're scared and they need to get out of a situation. Like rewind or phase shift, or reactive uh, armor. Um, these are not used for offensive or tactical situations, which I think the Black Ops 3 ones were much better at. So, for that reason, definitely, 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 Black Ops 3 did this better. Um, in this game, they added mission teams, which, to be honest with you, I, I don't find to be very useful. I guess they just added them so they'd have a way of giving extra salvage to people so they could craft more weapons. So I understand the reason they did it, but it just doesn't add anything to the game. The winner in this category for specialists is easily Black Ops 3. 
Moving right along. Kill streaks. Uh, starting with Black Ops 3, you had the HCA, HCXD, the UAV, the Care Package, the Counter UAV, the Dart, the Guardian, the Lightning Strike, the Hellstorm, the Hardened Sentry, the Cerberus, the Rolling Thunder, the Talon, the Wraith, the Hater, and I think the Mother... Oh, Power Core, Raps, GI Unit, and Mothership. So you had a lot of options. And I'll compare that to Infinite Warfare where you had... Um, you had a Scarab, which is the HC, HC car, whatever they call it. R RC car. What are these? What the heck? You have a Scarab, same thing that they had in um, Black Ops 3. You have a UAV, obviously, a counter UAV and a care package. Obviously, no big deal there. What the heck? You know, you have obviously a lot of the same stuff. You've got a sentry gun, just like you do in both games. You've got the Trinity and the... So you've got a Vulture and you've got a Talon. Those are pretty much the same thing, except it's... Very strong in Infinite Warfare, and what sucks is that there's no counter for it, which is no good. Uh, there's no EMP grenades. I'm going off on a tangent here. So I can really only say that in Infinite Warfare, there's four kill streaks in this game that are better than Black Ops 3. That would be the uh, Advanced UAV. I don't know why. I just, if I had to pick one, I, I'm, I could be even wrong about this. I believe that the Hater kind of scans, whereas the Advanced UAV is always on. I could be totally wrong about that, to be honest with you. Um, but also, the Thor in this game is better. The Apex is cool. And the obviously, the big one, the nuke. You've got a nuke in this game. You don't have that in Black Ops 3. That's pretty big. That alone might almost give it to Infinite Warfare. So, I'm going to give that to Infinite Warfare, to be honest with you. Even though there's more, there's better kill streaks in Black Ops 3, like a higher number of them. The fact that Infinite Warfare has nukes, I think, is... Let's give it to them. The next category that I'm going to rate these games on is the game modes. And I give this one to Infinite Warfare as well because Infinite Warfare had a game like a uh, game mode like Frontline. That's one they invented. Um, and I thought that was better than the game mode that Black Ops 3 invented, which is Safeguard. It just plays better. I think it's more fun. Um, Safeguard, hit or miss, honestly. Black Ops 3 did have arena mode, which was pretty cool. Unfortunately, it was not very successful, so it loses in that category. And then finally, again, bringing it back is the nuke. You can never, never underestimate the power of a nuke. Um, but the fact that you have nukes in this game really help a lot. And last but not least, or should I say last but least, let's talk about advanced movement. I definitely 100% uh, give this category to Black Ops 3. They nailed the movement perfectly. Out of all three of the new CODs with all the jumping and flying and all that BS, they nailed it. Uh, Infinite Warfare, while they didn't have the exosuits like Advanced Warfare did, they still didn't get this right because... Let me suppose this, oh, no, he's right there. Oh, wow. Um... The jump is way is stronger in this game than Black Ops 3. Like, I don't know if you ever noticed, but how many times have you been playing where somebody jumps over? Like, look how high that guy jumped. That's that's not easy to counter, and it's a little bit unbalanced. So that, and then also what I really can't stand, if you've watched any of my videos, is the slide. And the slide in this game is really strong. Like, unnecessarily strong. You should not be at an advantage when you... Like, for, if part of me says, yes, it's cool that you you do uh, advanced movement so that you can, you know, put yourself in advantage. But at the same time, if you're sliding, you, you should not have a better aim than a player who is, like, doing what I'm doing right now. Aiming down sights, standing, or prone, or whatever. It's like that guy, right? He almost could have killed me with his slide if you would have saw me a second earlier. Anyway, slide is way too OP in this game. Needs to change, and unfortunately that... That costs Infinite Warfare this category. So, Alright guys, so the summary here is six categories. Black Ops 3 wins four of them. Maps, guns, specialists, and movement. Whereas Infinity Ward, in my opinion, was a little bit better in killstreaks and in game modes. But if you weigh those out, the things that Black Ops 3 is better, that, better than Infinity Ward at are they're just more valuable. So all in all, Black Ops 3 is a way better game. I hope you guys agree. If you don't, let me know in the comments below. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you liked what you saw. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And have a great day. And until the next video, peace out. Yeah.